we gave away um, up to 20 bikes. We thought, whoa, it's a big deal. We were so excited and stuff. And now, five years later, we've given her away over 900. From 20 to 900. Did you ever think that it would grow to, to this extent? No, I did not. I thought it was just going to remain a small thing in our driveway. When Hayden Mills was nine years old, his brand new BMX bicycle was stolen. He decided then to turn bad to good and started a bike recycling project, taking in old donated bikes, fixing them up and giving them to kids who need them. They don't have enough money, so they have, so like, instead of them not having a bike, they can come to us and still get one. Well, that ambitious idea has really picked up speed over the past five years. Now Hayden has a group of volunteers helping him fix hundreds of bikes. He's a good kid. If there was more like him, the uh, world would be a better place, wouldn't it? He's 14 years old, could be doing all kinds of things, but instead he's helping the community. Coming up to nearly 1,500 bikes, either recycled or fixed up, close to 1,000 of them donated back to the community. Well, what might be even more impressive is the amount of scrap metal that they've saved from the landfill, an estimated 17,000 pounds over the last five years. We'll take the ones we can't fix and take all the good parts off them. We'll then take the rest to the scrapyard and that money will go into fixing more bikes. Those who come to choose a bike can take it for free or they can make a small donation, either in cash or to the food bank. I'm picking up a bike for my granddaughter. What do you think of the program? I think it's great. People are really happy after you give them a bike, obviously, and I just like the feeling after you help somebody. It's pretty cool. And it just keeps growing. They moved from his parents' garage about four years ago into this garage donated by the city. But now they've outgrown that as well and are doing renovations on a new location. What they really need is sponsors and donations. If you can help, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. In Georgetown, Audra Brown, City News.